The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which. Uh, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm bringing you my overtime video of uh, the impossible challenge. Now, I kind of don't want to give anything away, but I need to let you know right now <laughs> we go into six overtimes. So, the only reason I'm recording it after the fact is because it wasn't live and it was messing up. But, anyways, let's get into this gameplay right here. Bo Jackson is just a madman. No doubt about it. This dude is just ridiculous. That 99 Epic Bo is just crazy. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. <laughs> I missed that tackle so bad. I called the right play, put the right person in the right position, and then I just m muff so bad. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> Alright, so they scored on their first time in overtime, so now it is my turn to be my turn for the ball in overtime. So I'm going to check their weaknesses. For sure is what I want to do because the biggest weakness on their team is their fifth corner because they don't have one. So Tyvon Austin is open white now. And it's touchdown. So you always want to attack their, their weakness, especially if you know it already. I'm trying to find a field goal there. <laughs> Well, actually, at this moment, I think I'm debating if I should go for two or not. But I decide not to. Kick the field goal, and we go into double overtime. Now it's my ball again, I believe. <clears throat> and I want to attack their weakness again. But I'm nervous at this moment. I'm a little nervous because the linebacker's facing that is in the middle and the safety is a little bit farther away. I pull the trigger, the other safety comes up and smacks me. So and teabags me at the same time. <laughs> ah. So now I'm gonna flip it, I think. Cause Yeah, I've I flip his route instead of and I use Moss to go straight up and I use uh, Austin to go out. Austin actually breaks free. I throw a lob. He's open. Good deal. And another thing, that Austin is the collected version of like the duos. He is amazing. He's a fifth receiver on my team. But holy crap, he's the boss. All, all the way the boss. And I just feel like I don't really know. I just feel like I don't know if he's used a lot. He should be used a whole lot more. But it's whatever. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty-five. All right, so they get the ball back. We go in a double. We go. We're in double overtime. I get a pick right here. I win the game. Oh, tight end opened. I don't care. The glitch in this game for tight ends is just unbelievable. There's a play in here. I couldn't show y'all because it would have been way too long. This this video was 52 minutes long originally, so I just figured I'd show you the overtime video. The dude was triple covered. He, their Heath Miller tight end was triple covered and decided that he was going to uh, go bananas on me. They go on four receiver set right here, so I'm gonna go five DBs just to have a lot of just to have more speed. You want more speed on the field, especially when they're gonna go like this with no halfback in the back. Now he's scrambling. So I'm able to knock him down at the one. He's third and goal. That makes it third and goal. I pick one of their plays, one of the one of the uh, blitz goal line plays. It was a horrible idea because wide open. 
So the offense comes up big, and now they're just an extra point away from a third overtime period. I know we usually don't talk about extra points being big kicks, but they don't get much more important than this one. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he hits the PAT. This has been one of those games where everything seems to hang in the back. So they get the ball back here. And I'm going to uh, see if I can't shut him down here. Just come up with something on the third third overtime. From the 25-yard line, first down. Man Jones, just because I don't want Miller to bust us here. It's a picked off by Sanders. I thought I was going to go run it back, but I got tackled. Don't make fun of me because I didn't know that uh, I could win with the field goal. <laughs> didn't know that until fourth down when I elected to pick a kick a field goal to chance it, and the announcer told me that I could win the game with that field goal. So yeah, he scrambled. Pass incomplete. I didn't know yet. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfired. So I'm really nervous right now trying to get some yardage, trying to do anything I can, attack their weaknesses, do anything. But they have covered perfectly here. Everybody's covered except for B, so I try to get him the ball and bam, knocks it down. I mean, he uh, drops the ball, so just really horrible in that situation. So third down, I need to get this conversion. I tried all the stops. I used that guy, used this dude, and, and then I'm trying to get something going. Nobody's open. I get scared. I take a sack. And that pushes me back so far. So I decided, all right, well, that pushes me that far back. Let's see if I can kick a field goal. I believe in myself, you know. I, like, all right, so if I kick a field goal, maybe I win the game. Maybe I don't. But it's worth a shot. <clears throat> it's 54. And see, that's when I knew it. When the announcer said that, if this game the game could be over if I make it. So I try my best. I miss it just a little bit, and it bounces off the uprights. No good. So we hit into fourth overtime right here. This is our fourth overtime. I hope you're comfortable in your seat because I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. I can't believe it. Now I'm upset. <clears throat> I'm flipping out, really. Like, I'm cussing and screaming that I didn't know. I mean, it's kind of dumb new mistake to not know if you kick a field goal after you intercept the ball. It's a... It would be a, a, a win. But... So I just swallow my pride and I just keep going. I just keep pounding this. Keep pounding their weaknesses with Randy Moss and Tyvon Austin there. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Brown's open, so I throw him the rock. <laughs> Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. The sub package in there defensively. He gets tackled on the fucking one or two or whatever. All right, sorry, my headset was dying. Uh, yeah, so then I'm like, all right, I'm going to try to run this ball in with the quarterback. And it's good, so awesome stuff. So this is where you have to go for the two-point conversion, of course. So... So much pressure on your opponent. Now, so I'm going to use my five wide out, spread them out, and try to run it in with the quarterback again. But I believe one of my receivers break open, and I think he's open. So thinking he was open and thinking that he was going to stay in the end zone and catch that ball kind of cost me there. <clears throat> So I gotta stop them from making a touchdown, and if they do make a touchdown, I have to stop the two-point conversion or I lose the game. So we here. They're doing some tight end moving around. 
He gets free, it looks like. And boom, he comes out of nowhere and catches the ball. I'm like, wow, this game is definitely over. A flag for un for illegal touching the ball. This dude went out of bounds, so we catch a break there. I'm like, all right, second and 15, because when you get a penalty in here, it doesn't give you another down. I mean, when you get a penalty in overtime, you don't you don't get to repeat your down. So I'm like, all right, sweet. So they lost five yards and it's second down. So I'm happy. So here we go. <clears throat> Wide open, touchdown. Nothing I could have done. Like he was double covered and everything. I was crying like a little baby. Not even gonna lie to you right now. So now I'm bringing the heat and pulling back some people and just making sure this dude doesn't complete this. I'm so scared right now. I bring him in, then I cover him myself, and then I sit there. The ball goes up, and it is tipped and incomplete. You do not know how happy I am right now. Okay, so they get the ball back again. It's tied 44 to 44 here. And I'm just praying to man coverage everybody and let these dudes stay at coverage. I pull Jones in right here. See what we can get. He lobs it. Bailey intercepts it. And that's it for them. So now the first play I do is a field goal. It's a 42-yard field goal. It's right down the middle, and I got, I got C Bass, and it is good. Game set match, 44-47. Probably one of the hardest games I've ever had playing against a computer. Not gonna lie. <laughs> but we pulled it out the end, and I just want to thank y'all for uh, watching the video. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and. This was my last video with Deion Sanders. You didn't get to see any of the cool things he did there in the game. He actually brought us to overtime with a pick six. Great stuff what he did for me. And I just want to thank y'all for watching this video. And uh, you can follow me at Twitter. Uh, K-E-N-D-A-H-I-T-M-A-N. Holla deuce.